So one of the things that has hindered African countries' um, development is misleading people. You know, I'm going to give an example. Like for my country right now, there's Lemika Joba, the uh, Inspector General of Police has been fired, which, is, um, which, is, which was quite unexpected. But I'm going to, I want to touch a certain topic before I come to Lemika Joba's um, situation where he has been fired. You know, one of the things that has, uh, of course, costed Africa in terms of development is misleading people. Like the former head of state of, of, of Zambia, uh, Edgar Chagualung, he brought out a, a point that is very factual, where, where he said people mislead others by making them believe that they are well connected and influence them to do things that they are not supposed to do okay and this doesn't usually happen in the west or in developed countries but it does happen often in africa whereby if somebody had an opportunity to take a picture with the with the president and he's gonna use that picture to get uh, uh what he wants even not just the head of states, even, even just any, uh, any other person that uh, is influential or holds a, a high, a high govern, government office. Okay, let's say if somebody takes a picture of the president or a minister, he's going to use that picture wherever he goes. He's going to say, ah, I need, I need you to do something for me. Um, um, otherwise, you see this, I'm well connected to the head of state. You're going to lose your job. Or... If you do this, I, I, I can get you a favor. I'm well connected. I can do this for you. And this has affected most uh, government uh, systems. Okay? And if you are in power, let's come to the issue of Lemika Joba now. If you are in power, if you are given an, a position, if you are entrusted with a position, a very sensitive position like being Inspector General of Police, you should... You should execute your job very well okay because that is a very big position and it affects a lot of people like we've we've seen so far uh maybe let me just show you this screen. Yeah. So you see Kalawa being followed by the police everywhere during campaigns. Why? Well, you've seen yeah, UPND. They will go out and um, I'm 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 not I'm not polit. I'm, I mean I'm I'm not a a, a UPND supporter. Uh, neither am I a PF supporter or any other political party. I'm trying to be neutral here. We've seen 
uh, uh, the, the, the police following around people from other political parties when they're going to have campaigns, regardless them doing it uh, in a decent way, no violence or anything of that nature. But why are you following them? Why are you, why are you trying to make them uncomfortable? It's not right. It's more like you're campaigning for the ruling party indirectly. It's more like you're giving... Uh, because yeah, each time people just see the police presence all over, it, people feel intimidated. They're not even going to pay attention to whatever message the Kalaba wants to tell the people or whichever uh, uh, opposition leader wants to tell the people. They're not even focused on the message. They are going to be intimidated, which is not right. We saw this happening in the previous regime, and that is why we voted for the people well, that's why we voted out the previous government because we were not happy with the previous government and this is one of the things they used to do okay they used to to be violent they used to intimidate people and all that that's why we voted them out and now this government wants to do the same and this comes to the issue of let me get job i think this is one of the reasons why he has been fired there's no way if you, you, you as Inspector General of Police, you'll be doing the same thing the previous Inspector of General Police used to do. The same thing that you yourself also used to condemn. And you think it, it, the situation is going to be any different, any different for you? And I applaud the President for this. This is a sign to everybody else that has been entrusted with a big uh, a ministerial position to execute their job with diligence. Otherwise, we expect to see more people getting fired in this nature. If we claim to love our country, we should learn uh, to do the right thing. And harassing people as police officers is something that I've been very much against. I remember right now, I'm not in, I'm not in, in Zambia myself, but I remember the time I was in Zambia. I, I was found in a situation where I had to go and sleep behind bars for something I did not even do, for something that I did not even know where it happened from, but just because somebody mentioned my name and I had to go sleep behind bars without even being given a chance to explain myself. I, I recall very well, what do you call this? Can I call him the commanding officer, like the, 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 the officer in charge, yeah. I remember vividly him telling me that he cannot give me a police bond. And I asked why he called me arrogant. So it means the police reached, I mean, that time the police were at the point whereby they were taking your rights away from you. You know, you can imagine being in a situation where you can't even speak for yourself. You've been arrested, you can't even ask why you're being arrested. You remember, I had to stay behind bars for 48 hours, that's two days without even being charged. And for me to be released without even, without even committing any proper crime, I had to pay money, okay? I had to pay money. And I was very happy that we had to remove the previous uh, government from power because they were, they were abusing office. And I applaud the current president right now for, for firing a, a Lemika Joba because the, the police service is a very sensitive uh, 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 office, okay? It, it needs people that will, exe uh, will execute their job with diligence because people suffer when, when the people that are being, working in the police force are brutal and the people that are, are working in the police force are corrupt. It's the poor, it, mostly it is the poor that suffer. And I applaud the, the, the president for that. And if, 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 if other people also continue doing the same in the government, we, ex we expect more people to be fired. And like I said, I am not UPND and I'm not PF. I'm just pointing out where the mistakes are. Because there are certain things that are going on in the country that I'm not happy with. And I have spoken openly about all those things, all those matters. It's not like I'm against the government as well. I'm, I just, if there is a problem, I talk about it and if the government does something 
I upload them for that. Like they, they, they ended load shedding, they ended the electricity problem. I uploaded the government for that. Not because I support the 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 the, the UPND. It's because because of the, the they managed to tackle the problem, that's why I uploaded them for that. And there's I heard there's also a problem of uh, maize shortage, millimeter shortage and all that all the people are lining up to buy food stuff and all that. I think that is a very big problem and I hope the government fixes that. But if they don't fix that anytime soon, that is a problem that will show incompetency and I hope it doesn't get to that. So anyway, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. I would like to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you for watching once more.